Roger Stone, former head of the Trump campaign, Trump insider, will be joining us at the start of the next hour. Then Mike Cernovich, who has a lot of amazing sources, great investigative journalist, just broke the Susan Rice story that uh, Bloomberg and ABC were sitting on, forced someone to release that. He's going to be joining us. He has more big bombshell inside the intel. H.R. McMaster manipulating intelligence reports to Trump. Uh, wants 150,000 ground soldiers in Syria. The big news is I have my own Pentagon sources and others, and they said the ground war has already begun, and they would not give me the details, but they said, look, it's, it's already in the news, Alex. They're just not calling it that. The Marines have been brought in with artillery to back up uh, the invasion. So the Marines will be firing over the Army as the Army initially goes in. Uh, so they got the Marines and their artillery in, uh, thousands and thousands of special forces uh, this is uh, amazing, and, and and the American people are not being told. You notice Trump is always about, I won't tell you when we go to war. Now, here's the difference. The Russians and everybody else know what's going on here. The American people have a right to know specifically what's going on here. But, but, but let's shift gears again. The only thing you need to know about this gas attack is that this would be the one thing that would bring down Assad and his government. The one thing Trump had promised to go in against him if he did it, and the rebels had been caught before staging it. That's a fact. But notice on every TV channel, everywhere, kids gulping, little babies uh, dying. The most horrific images ever of the little, a lot of them, European babies. A lot of Chechens have gone into the invasion. This is, this is part of them going to their new Islamic state. It's a pilgrimage from all over the world. And so, oh, you see them nerve-gassed. These Islamicists will blow up their own kids for power. They'll drown their own kids on the Oceanside shore to do a photo op and say that nobody cared when they were coming into Italy. They'll do anything. But regardless, we weren't shown the proof, were we? Now, again, this is not a Trump bashing exercise. I'm going to give you the other side of the story here in a moment. But let me tell you what's the coup de grace or the final blow, the, the uh, cherry on top for me. Every article, and I've seen hundreds, will show you photos from 100, 200, 300 yards away of the Stockholm attack. The number was four. It's up to like 10, I'm hearing now. Running over, murdering people. Suspected Stockholm killer is rejected asylum seeker. But notice, it's a photo from hundreds of yards away. If you're a TV viewer, Infowars.com forward slash show. Here's another one. Over 100 yards away. Don't let you see what's happening. London Telegraph. And I looked everywhere. They will not show you images of the dead children killed by another Wahhabist. Because they don't want to make it emotional. The BBC won't even say it's a Muslim attack. McMaster famously in a speech said that Islam's not behind ISIS or Al-Qaeda. The hell it isn't, bro. You're totally countervening everything Trump stands for and what we stand for. I don't want to make McMaster some enemy. I said give him the benefit of the doubt. He did neocon stuff under neocon command. Let's see what he does when he gets under Trump. And I'm seeing the same duck walk I've seen before. Looks like a duck, acts like a duck, quacks like a duck. And here's the deal. The neocons love the cultural revolution in America, dumbing down the families, breaking up the families, creating a police state, leaving the borders open, selling out America, not having infrastructure. They're the same people as Obama. They're globalists. It's a different party. They all work together. And both parties were going after Trump. Both parties were saying he was a Russian spy. So let's go over the calculus of why Trump did this. And I'm going to come back in the next segment and give you my sources, what they said, not the specifics of who the sources are. But I can see this myself. They're all calling Trump a Russian agent because he doesn't want war with Russia and was following what General Flynn told him about how this whole thing was a setup. And how they were opening up Europe through Syria to flood them with Muslims. So Trump doesn't want to do that. So Trump's in office. He's not a Russian agent. No connection to Russia. His top team tells him there's no issue with Russia. The real issue is China, as you're about to you know, see. Major war probably there. Major task forces steaming into the area. Look at DrudgeReport.com. Next move, Navy moving towards Peninsula. Kim Jong-un says he's not scared, ready for war. Still firing missiles uh, at, 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 at Japan and threatening to nuke South Korea. That's a real threat. That's somebody threatening folks. That's somebody with weapons. That's somebody taking over the South China Sea with China and telling our ships they can't even go through and boarding ships and robbing people. Piracy. That's real. That's a major superpower, basically. Not little Syria getting ganged up on again. U.S. Navy strike group to move towards Korean Peninsula. U.S. official. It's on. 
The surveillance planes are in the air. The big jets up there with big chemical lasers in their noses. The DC-10s are ready to shoot down the missiles. It's on. So, the Chinese president's coming in. Trump wants to look tough in front of him right as the missile strikes begin. He knows there's been a chemical attack. He can't prove one way or another whether it's true. The intelligence is given to him showing it's real and showing the facility that special forces had video of. It's now been released to the mail showing canisters of what appears to be chemical weapons. And then they tell him, sir, they agreed four years ago to give this up to the Russians. And the Russians were supposed to destroy it in place or fly it out. Here it is, sir, out in the open where they're loading it on planes. And you know what? It's the same base. And it is chemical weapons. Why aren't the Russians showing photos or videos saying it isn't? We're going to get to some of that. I have that here in my stack. So the, you've heard the con. Now let's hear the pro. Because I'm not riding a fence here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I know what happened in history. I know the players. I know what's happening in serious wrong. Go ahead and scroll down for TV viewers. It's there. Exactly. You can see the chemical weapons that the... Uh, Syrians agreed to destroy four years ago. That's them with them. And you see the exact same canisters at the airbase. And notice the Russians say they had a couple hours notice. They pulled the MiGs out and they pulled uh, the munitions out so they wouldn't be destroyed, obviously, so there wouldn't be a giant poison gas cloud. What was Trump thinking there? There's a nearby town like 300 yards away. I I'm just saying. Uh, that's what I heard. Like, you're going you're gonna to cruise missile chemical weapons and create a giant chemical cloud? A hundred times worse than this village? I mean... That happened at Kamasi in the Iraq war. They blew up one of the big sites, and that was Gulf War syndrome right there, mainly was our troops. The chemical weapons detectors went off everywhere in the region. A lot of folks later had their brain stems rot. They didn't get a full dose. They got enough to kill them a year or two later. Remember that? So you've got these chemicals, and, and, and he had them. He, he said he had them. They caught the rebels using their own chemicals that Hillary gave them. That's in the news. Assad goes, of course I won't use them, I'll give them up. Remember, there's a red line. Give them up or we'll attack. He goes, fine, here are my weapons. A year later, the rebels launch a chemical attack to try to draw us in. So why hadn't the Russians gotten them out? Why didn't they follow the agreement? Now, maybe those are fake photos. Maybe it's fake intelligence. I don't know. Pretty sophisticated to have it all piled up outside the bunkers and everything. And it, it looks like the Russians hauled ass to the last minute, like when they went in that reactor, famously at Chernobyl, heroically, and were just hauling that stuff out so it wouldn't kill the village. That's what it looks like. It looks like people are trying to save that village's life. Village is literally hundreds of yards away. Who gave Trump that advice? Blow up a giant chemical weapons base, 300, 400 yards. I've looked at the satellite images from a village of over a thousand people. I mean, one canister of that would kill the whole village. You're going to hit that with cruise missiles and aerosolize it? I can't believe that the, the Russians didn't haul it off further, but I guess that's all they could do in the couple hours notice they had. Anyways, they say it was 30 minutes. My, my info is, is, is so, so, so. We'll come back and finish up with the calculus here of pro and con of why Trump did this and then get into the big news. The ground war has already begun in Syria. It's already begun. People have asked me for 20 years, Alex, why don't you have firearms and firearms accessory sponsors? And the answer is, it's a minefield. Well, in 2016, things changed. And Tennessee Arms, that is the founders, the inventors, the leaders, they defended it in court of the resin lowers with the brass inserts that in many cases go further than even aluminum or steel manufacturing. 30 to 60,000 rounds by third-party reviewers. This is the best system out there, and we're talking a third the price of leading competitors. This is how it works. You order, customized or straight from the factory, however you want it. It is shipped on the next business day to you and your family, and a percentage of the profit goes to fund the defense of this republic. You cannot lose. You're funding the info war. You're getting the highest quality product, the most tested, the most durable, the most certified, the most believed in. You need to have this true piece of America ready in minutes.